Hello everybody and welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we are here to do your mid-month career and finance reading. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. And the time period covered is February 16th through March 16th, 2021. So let's see where we go here. Um, if you're returning to my channel, welcome back and I thank you all for your beautiful energy, your likes, subscribes and your comments. And if you're new, then welcome in. As always, this is both a general and intuitive reading, not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So not all the messages that come out will be for every single person. Take the ones that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. So let's see. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. Career and finance. What do we need to know about money for the next month? All right. So we already had one flying out. Oh, wow. And that flew right out of the deck for you. Okay, blossoming abundance. All right, and I'm going to get one more. One more energy for Pisces, please. Okay, and we have all tied up. Okay. Sorry, I have an itchy eye. Okay, there we go. Blossoming and abundance. Wow. Whatever stage of your career or finances that you are working on right now, there is a lot of opportunities around for you, okay? A lot of success, a lot of abundance. Now, abundance, you know, people people think that abundance means, you know, oh, you know, millions upon millions of dollars coming into my bank account. That's not really what it means. It means that you have more than what you need, okay? However that fits into your life, right? Um, you have everything you need plus just a little bit more, okay? You're very comfortable, more than comfortable, all right? But uh, if you're looking for a new job, so many opportunities available for you. You're very desirable. If you're looking to start a business, now is the time. This is the yes card, okay, to whatever it is you're working on. Some of you might have a raise or a promotion or a bonus coming up in the very near future, in the month ahead. And with this energy, this is card number three, and this relates to the Empress card, okay? Lots of abundance, um, beautiful, beautiful energy. Again, the answer is yes with that card, all right? And we have all tied up coming out with it. <laughs> uh, it's card number 23. It breaks down into a five. Fives are disruptive. They're about change. In this case here, uh, first and foremost, it might, it, this might be a way of thinking, okay? Something is holding you back. Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it a lack of self-confidence? All right, there's a lot of abundance around, right? So you are your own worst enemy, some of you with this card, okay? Um, change your way of thinking. Look in places you didn't think to look. Don't be afraid to put your foot out there, all right? Some of you might be um, feeling stuck in your current job and as though there's no way out, no way, no way forward. Maybe there aren't any um, opportunities for advancement or for growth where you are right now. And while it doesn't appear on the outside to necessarily be a dead-end job, that's what it feels like to you. So what are you going to do? Now is the time, right? That blossoming abundance, right? Now this is not spirit saying, oh, just, you know, quit your job tomorrow and venture out into the unknown without any kind of plan. No, 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 no. Why would that, that would put you in dire straits. But it's time to start freeing yourself from whatever is holding you back you're the one that has to change okay so again if you're in that company and you're not going anywhere it's a environment that just isn't conducive to um, growth um, the company is not going to change so you have to okay your environment ne won't necessarily change unless you're directly in charge of that excuse me oh god hiccup I'm so sorry um, unless you're in charge of that change Okay, so that means that you have to do some changes. Okay, so however that looks for you, all right, something has you stuck. So let's see what tarot we have. Okay, right off the bat, the heart of the matter, 10 of water. Okay, I love that energy. That's um, abundance right there. Okay, just so you know. And let's just get the rest of these out for you. All right, what's crossing it? The six of fire. <laughs> what is beneath you? You're unconscious. Your foundation, what's driving you forward? We've got the king of water. 
crowning you, your goals, your possibilities, the seven of air. I love that card. It's Mother Goose. To me, that's Mother, mother Goose. <laughs> Recent past. Okay, patience. Yes, you've been waiting a long time for something, haven't you? Been stuck in the same situation for a long time. Your near future, the messenger of Earth. Beautiful. All right, you, your current attitude. Uh-huh, eight of water. Look at that. External, in, external influences your environment. Eight of fire. All right, I love that. Your hopes and fears, the call, and your long-term outcome. We've got the Eight of Air coming up for you. All right. The heart of the matter, the current situation, the Ten of Water. Some of you already have a lot of peace, happiness, and abundance where you are, okay? Others of you, you're looking for it. You're looking for that serenity. You're looking for something that makes you happy. Success, completion. It's a 10. It's a completion of a cycle leading way to new beginnings. This is the big one, okay? This is the big one of emotional fulfillment and contentment. That's what you're striving for. That's what you're looking for. Some of you may have been stuck in that career you you know, thought there was room for some advancement and it turns out there isn't. And you might really love what you do for a living and you're on the right career path, perhaps not with the correct company. Others of you, you are looking to find that happiness and that abundant lifestyle and that peace that comes with that satisfaction of a job well done, um, a company that you can grow with that puts as much into you as you put into it and you're looking for your solution you're looking for your way forward because there's something blocking your path to complete serenity here all right so however that resonates for you whether you need to move on you might be the one that actually has the power to change your current circumstances or to um, improve the company that you're with all right but you're looking for that completion you're looking for that satisfaction um, some of you might be working on a project that you're almost finished with and you're looking for the next best thing all right but the ten of water it's a very good energy okay like extremely good energy all right filled with um, happiness and joy and peace and serenity and abundance and all those wonderful things okay and it's right there at your doorstep what's crossing you we have the six of fire now usually the six of fire is an energy of um, accomplishment and success victory being in the limelight being in the spotlight reveling in uh, your joy and your happiness of a task well done and moving forward to the next phase but it's crossing you so it feels like it's a relatively minor delay okay in moving forward but some of you I feel are afraid your fear is holding you back Okay, um, holding you back from the successful life that you seek. Um, some of you, it's the fear of being in the spotlight, of in the limelight. Like you're perfectly happy to quietly and peacefully go about your day and about your business. And while you do want some monetary rewards um, or be rewarded with, you know, a promotion, um, a promotion or some sort of acknowledgement you're not necessarily comfortable with that being public okay so sometimes what that happens is sometimes that ends up holding you back from the success and the accomplishments that are right at your door you might shy away from being in the limelight and even though there's lots of opportunities presented to you you t you might tend to take the ones that are um, behind the scenes rather than right in front of them okay um but what happens there is that that remains you that that keeps you in for one it keeps you from moving forward okay and if you're a shy person 
and you're not used to being in the, the limelight, the spotlight, um, that can be hard to overcome, right? Because comfort zones are, well, they're called comfort zones for a reason, right? We're comfortable in them. And if you're in your comfort zone and you're perfectly happy on all levels and you're there because you choose to be there, more power to you, right? You have everything that you want, everything that you need. And some of you might be in that position. However, others of you, okay, you're in your comfort zone because of fear. So are you going to face your fear or are you going to move forward? Okay, are you going to grab that opportunity, that promotion? Maybe you have to be in charge of people and be an inspiration to others and not just to yourself. And that opens up a world of success and abundance for you. Or are you going to still hide in the shadows? and still long for, you know, your future and the betterment of your future, but not do anything about it. Okay. So it feels for some of you that it's really about getting out of that comfort zone, being willing to level up because peace, happiness, and good fortune are all right there for you. Okay. Others of you, you're looking for that spark of inspiration that allows you to try something new, level up where you are, um, move forward. This can be, okay, the six of fire, thank you. The six of fire can be about some of you not wanting to bo be too boastful on your resume, okay? Downplaying your accomplishments because you don't wanna come across as being arrogant. But if you're ever going to boast about your accomplishments, a resume is the way to do it. Okay. You're after all, you're out there trying to get a new job. All right. And you don't feel desperate necessarily um, because you've been in your same situation for quite a while. But at the same time, you know, that's how you get noticed. And again, we're back to the fear of being noticed. Okay. So um, of course, not all of you are afraid of that, but for Quite a few, I think, because that's a pretty strong energy coming out out of that card. It also feels with that Ten of Water there that some of you have done a lot of soul searching, okay? And you're finally coming into alignment with yourself and you're looking to follow your soul's purpose. Some of you might already know what that is. All right, and it's not necessarily what you're doing right now, okay? You've been thinking about it for a very long time and you're just a little bit hesitant to take that step forward again you you it, it requires you to come out of your comfort zone and to be in the spotlight okay so um you know again um someone really doesn't want to be in the spotlight okay but does this look like fun being in the shadows no it doesn't or would you rather be here here or here Again, comfort zone thing, okay? And believe me, I know exactly what that is all about. Uh, it's not easy, okay? Absolutely not easy, but it can be done. So what is beneath you, okay? This is uh, your foundation, what's driving you forward. You're unconscious, right? You're not actively thinking about it, but it's down there in your gut, okay? The king of water. First and foremost, the king of water has a very good control over his emotions right very emotional very in touch with um with his emotions okay um beautiful energy all right also very much in connection with um spirit okay and your soul you're very generous very kind and you're looking for that kind of connection in what you do for a living Something that allows you to draw on all of your strengths. Allows you to be helpful, kind, generous. Some of you might actually want to be a leader, but without being like all eyes on you. Um, the quiet... Uh, the quiet creative type in the background... Okay, 
And while you do want success and you want some, you know, uh, monetary uh, accomplishments, okay, uh, some of you might shy away, again, that shy away from that spotlight, okay, but you're no less successful and you're no less, no less knowledgeable um, for wanting to stay in the background and just have your nice little qu uh, quiet, peaceful life. Um, for some of you to advance in your career, that might involve you having to make presentations and stand up in front of a group. And it, again, feels as though you're um, a little bit hesitant to take on that type of role, okay? But the King of Water says, you know, love yourself, love what you do, love your environment, okay? Follow your creativity and your innermost desires, all right? Um, a very mature energy. What's above you? What's above you? We have the seven of air. You just want to live your life. You don't necessarily want others to dictate what you're supposed to do or how you're supposed to move forward. Um, this is about non-conformity, living life on your own terms. And it feels as though if someone's trying to push you in a direction that you don't want to go in and you're really putting your foot down with this for some of you, it's like, you know what? You push me a little too far and I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. I don't want to be in the spotlight. I don't want that. I know I'm very secure in my career and my knowledge. Okay. And I want to do what I want to do. Okay, don't try and put a square peg in a round hole because it ain't going to work. That's already what I'm in. Okay, and it feels like if someone's trying to push you before you're ready that you're just going to bolt. Okay, so others, you, you know, you just want to live your life. And, you know, some of you are very comfortable where you are. You're not necessarily chasing um, rainbows or chasing waterfalls. Um, you're not chasing after the next best and greatest opportunity that's in front of you. You just want to, you want to make money. You want to be comfortable. You want to be happy. And if that involves, um, kissing someone's ass or, you know, having to brown nose your way up the corporate ladder and, you know, um, compromise your own personal integrity. No, you're not having anything of it. And again, you're, you know, this is where you're at, right? You're at that, I'm not going to people please anybody. I'm strong and confident in everything that I do. And I'm very successful. And um, I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life. Okay. It's a little bit of a, um, <laughs> uh, a slightly rebellious energy, but without going to the dark side of rebellion. Okay. It's actually one of confidence and being who you are and with the king of water you know who you are and there is no doubt about who you are and what you want to be and it also feels as though if someone wants you to compromise your beliefs and your integrity just to get ahead you're not having any of that either okay you want to be happy successful and, uh, you know, you want your abundance and your just rewards, but you're not going to get it like that. Okay. So I do see some of you, um, bolting. Okay. But not in a negative way. We have the messenger of actually, I'm going to go like this first. Sorry. Um, patience is in your recent past. So some of you have been at this for a very long time. If you're looking for a job, you've been trying to find the perfect one. You don't feel like you're in a rush. Um, again, you're not going to compromise who you are or your integrity, but you're just trying to find that perfect fit. Okay. Everything in moderation comes with this patience card. All right. Um, this is Sagittarius energy. All right. This is, um, temperance card that this one relates to. All right. But, um, a lot of patience has been required of you for a very long time. Some of you may have been doing a lot of soul searching along your way, um, waiting for the perfect job, that perfect opportunity. Some of you have been toughing it out in your current career path, that com this company for a long time. And 
you've it feels like you've gone as far as you can go without trying to without compromising who you are as a person and your values and what you want okay and with that ten of water showing up in your current situation it feels like you've gotten an alignment with who you are and you've built up your self-confidence right and you're just kind of stuck waiting for that perfect opportunity that moment to pounce and you're being patient with yourself as well okay you're being very patient with your environment too because it doesn't feel like you're telling anyone to f off um but you might <laughs> you might if they push you too far because that's seven of air again that's um kind of st stubborn energy but not for the sake of being stubborn okay it's protecting your own personal values and integrity okay is is really what that one is so I see some I see some of you taking action in your near future, taking action, starting something new. This messenger of earth, this is moving forward again without compromising your personal integrity. You're willing to work hard for what you want and for what you believe in and for your um for your payday and your paycheck. Okay, but and you're gonna be very committed to whatever it is that you start upon or start new on. Okay, but again, you're not going to compromise your own personal values and integrity just to please somebody else. Okay, you're not going to have someone push you into some sort of role um, that you don't want. Okay, and you know, again, some of you, some of you, what's crossing you is just some fear. Okay, and you might overcome that and realize that you know you can proceed forward with your. Uh, current path without having to compromise anything um, because that king of water uh, you you can probably be very um, what's the word spirit um, very accommodating where you need to be but at the same time you could probably be very cold as well if someone pushes you in the wrong way um, uh, you, some of you might have a bit of a fiery blow up, okay, and completely lose control of your emotions just to get your point across because being kind and being compassionate and being very gentle doesn't work past a certain point, okay, and people might, might not be used to seeing you that way, all right, and that sets you on a um, either different career path entirely, okay, or puts everything back in alignment with where you currently are okay so however that's resonating for you that's kind of a sidebar but um, but there is new here so whether you're alone um, moving forward um, or you stay with that company and get back into alignment okay however that resonates for you but again you're not going to be you're not going to have your integrity and your personal values compromised just for a paycheck with that so this can be a new job for some of you okay um but again that can be your current company for others of you as well and you know it feels like whoever has that blow up okay um that meltdown so to speak um it's all for your higher good and for a purpose all right and you know and again it's you know someone might actually turn around and say oh um i i didn't know you felt that strongly about it okay because you some of you might be on the quieter side This is you, your current attitude. You could take it or leave it with this Eight of Water, okay? Um, the Eight of Water is all about looking at everything you have and realizing that while there might not be anything all that wrong with it in some cases, it's just not your, it's just not your jam. It's not your cup of tea. And you're like, you know what? It might be time to move on. Um, I'm not getting what I need. They're pushing me in the wrong direction. Um, I'm not going to compromise who I am as a person and my ideals um, just for a paycheck. And you're willing to go. You're willing to walk. It doesn't feel like you're going to walk um, on a spur of the moment. Okay. It feels like you'll do your homework um, and have something in place before you do that because the aid of water is your choice to walk away no one's forcing you to 
Others you're contemplating, should I stay, should I go? I'm not really too sure. I can take the path less traveled, I can take the path towards the unknown, okay? Or I can stay and deal with what I have even though, you know, there's some issues, but I might be able to work through them. But realistically, a lot of you are really thinking about moving on, okay? Trying a different career path, a different company. Um, some of you a different position in the company that you're with, okay? But you're looking for that emotional fulfillment, that peace and serenity and abundance that you're striving for, okay? And you're gonna do it again on your terms. So that's your attitude, right? You're, you're willing to go, you've been, it feels like you've been in a holding pattern for quite some time. That eight of water, okay, that can be you freeing yourself from being tied up to a certain situation that really isn't working for you. Your environment, your external influences, okay? We have the eight of fire. Woo, things are gonna start to speed up, okay? So get ready, this eight of fire is all about gathering momentum, forward movement. Some of you might be traveling or relocating with this card, right? Maybe the uh, job opportunity that you're looking for, your ideal, um, your ideal opportunity, okay? The path to true prosperity involves you to move. There's a lot of movement involved with this eight of fire, okay? So again, whether you're moving forward in your own company or in your current company, I should say, I don't get entrepreneur, I don't get entrepreneur energy really coming out of this reading for you, um, but you're moving forward. Same company, new company, new job, new position, you name it. Moving forward out of your comfort zone for some of you, breaking away from a certain way of thinking, right? Any, um, you know, any kind of self-doubt, if you have any, I feel most of you have already broken away from that. Um, but some of you are thinking about, you know, what do I need to do? Okay, what do I need to do to boost my own self-confidence? And some of that is walking away or speaking up for yourself. All right, but a lot of forward momentum here, transformation, some changes, um, changes in your future. Okay, so how whatever that means for you, forward momentum, okay, with speed and with purpose, all right? So um, far cry from that six um, that's crossing you, right, which is being stuck, right? You're going to get unstuck pretty damn fast, which is great because you've been stuck for a very long time. Your hopes and fears, you have the call. This is the path to true prosperity here. This is um, about you following your soul's purpose, listening to your inner guidance system, all right? Answering the call, this is judgment. Release and let go, right? Letting go of anything that doesn't work for you anymore and keeping what does. Learning your lessons from the past and then cutting ties and, and moving forward. Okay, this is the path to prosperity and abundance, right? That next step forward. So that is that is both a hope and a fear, okay? Change number one is scary. Moving forward can be scary. Leaving a negative situation can be scary. Your path towards your soul purpose can be scary. But you're protected by your guardian angels here. Spirit is certainly watching out for you with this energy, okay? So, you know what you want really is to move forward you are on the quest for personal happiness emotional fulfillment a connection with your workplace with your job your career path and you're so hopeful that you can leave anything negative behind and move forward with a brush a, a brush a bright fresh outlook on the future Okay, beautiful, beautiful energy, very protective energy as well. And then your longer term future, look at that. We have the Eight of Air. Oh, I love the Eight of Air in this deck, okay? This is you freeing yourself. Look, first you're all tied up, right? You're stuck, you're stagnant. Um, negative thinking, lack of self-confidence, stuck in a... a position that doesn't suit you and here you are on that eight of air rising above it unsticking yourself being free 
changing your way of thinking, gaining your self-confidence, rising above any struggles that you've had along the way, breaking yourself free so you can go towards your future. Part of that is the call here helping you out, okay? Judgment, your guardian angels. All right, watch for signs, symbols, synchronicities. It feels like some of you are likely already on that path, okay? And um, even though this is your hopes and fears, it's still a major arcana. So this is overseeing you. It is the only, actually, we have patience there as well. Okay, now patience in this deck is not represented necessarily by an angel with wings. Okay, but it does tie in with 14. It does tie into um, uh, the temperance card, which for me, temperance um, is another guardian angel. And these guardian angels come out when you need some deep help, okay? Help following your true path, help with your self-confidence, all right? Seeing your way forward, um, freeing yourself from being negative and, and that kind of thing. So they come, they come out in your reading when you need them the most, okay? And that's exactly what's happening here. So freedom from restrictions, negative um, ways of thinking, um, moving forward with that energy, Okay, um, getting rid of stagnation, all right, following your true soul's purpose. So let's just clarify, wow, okay, I'm not taking all those. <laughs> okay, let's clarify that eight of air. Clarify the eight of air. The nine of swords, releasing anxiety, opening yourself up to something new, and nurturing it, staying positive, and letting it grow. All right. You're releasing yourself from negative ways of thinking, right? That nine of swords is overthinking, fear, anxiety, okay? Overthinking, doubt, all right? You're releasing from that, okay? You're instead, you're brace, embracing new opportunities on the horizon, opening up your heart, opening up your inspiration, okay? willing to start something new, moving forward, breaking free of all that stagnation, okay? Opening yourself to up to all the possibilities. And you're nurturing yourself, you're nurturing your future. This seven of pentacles here, this is about grabbing an opportunity and being patient and watching it grow, letting it grow, nurturing it, moving forward on your path to abundance with the knowledge that it doesn't always happen overnight. Okay, but you're opening your heart up instead of um, instead of talking yourself down. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. So expect things to start to open up pretty pretty quick for you. Okay, um, but this Seven of Pentacles here that's about nurturing. Okay, so it feels like some of you you have a new path to follow that will not only allow you to be um, open. Okay, be who you are. All right, to give you emotional fulfillment, but also something that very long time. Okay, and you can grow with it. All right, and it will in turn allow you to grow and put an end to any kind of negativity that you might be hanging on to. Okay, so embrace that energy. It's beautiful and it's freeing. Okay, and the Ten of Water here is one of peace and serenity, as is the call. Okay, so great things coming out for you in your reading. So I'm going to close out your reading with a wisdom of, wow, the Oracle. Okay, that was fast. I'm not surprised to see that card though. Regeneration, transformation. Okay, change. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read the entire message for you from the book. Um, because I don't want to miss anything for you. Here we go. Rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Your prosperity message. What happens when it appears you failed at something? Do you see beauty in the lesson? The understanding that arises from difficulties is like a seed that lays dormant for some time. Then, once it germinates in your subconscious, it pushes through into your awareness. It is becoming apparent that there is a new you, a new start. 
a more powerful version and form of what you began to plant in the garden of your imagination has surfaced. You are ripe for success. New opportunities, much better than those that came before, appear like gifts from the gods. Now is one of those times when out of the seeming loss and failure comes remarkable abundance. Hmm. Abundance, right? Do not dwell on the past because you really are experiencing a rebirth. Okay, that's the call. Letting the past go. Moving forward to something new. All right, beautiful energy. Okay, it's scary. Change is scary. Um, but necessary. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for you. Hopefully there was some messages that helped you out along your month ahead. Um, if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.